Welcome to The Lift with Sheila Robinson Kiss. Come on in. There's always a special place set aside for you here where you can relax, kick up your heels, pour yourself a nice refreshing drink, and prepare to be lifted and soar. Thanks so much and welcome back. What is a friend? What is a friend? I think the answer is going to depend on who you're talking to and their set of experiences. I'll have to be straight up honest with everyone. Um, because of the current relationship state that we're in, it's an entirely new climate. Uh, I have, you know, I can't really answer that question in a clear-cut manner anymore. I've received so many letters from people, um, especially lately, but tons of letters throughout the years about um, being hurt and, and betrayal. You know, Sheila, I thought I had a friend. I thought everything was fine. I got the rug pulled from under me. I don't know who's friend, who's foe, who's enemy, who's not. So it, it can be very, very confusing. Uh, and I'm no different. Uh, in the last 10 years, I uh, suffered a couple, um, you know, real relationship upsets. And it was then that uh, I went into prayer and I stayed in prayer for a very long time, just asking God, give me the proper uh, attitude toward all of my relationships. Because, you know, I, I believe what I had at the time was an attitude and a positioning that was constantly hurting me. And, and that's not good. I, I do believe that a, a prayer was answered um, as I experienced a complete and total paradigm shift where all of my relationships were concerned and it has just ended up alleviating a lot of angst, pressure, and anxiety. I think we live in a world where we want to put labels on everything. Uh, we want to label it and put it in a nice, um, neat box. You know, here's my expectations. Here's where you fit. Here's where you don't. And I'm not suggesting that you lower your expectation in terms of being treated with dignity and respect. Uh, we all deserve that. I'm simply asking you to look at all of your relationships, particularly uh, your friendships and affiliations, the people that come into your life to walk with you for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. I'm simply asking you to look at those relationships as experiences. These are individuals who come into your life people that you have experiences with, not people who come into your life to meet some invisible expectations on a checklist. In this way, you can free yourself to be open to positive people and positive experiences. So if someone comes into your life for two years or three years and you share some positive experiences great and they may need to exit so they become an individual you know what we took a walk together we shared a lot of positive positive experiences we shared some negative experiences and now we don't share experiences anymore so you you see if, if, if you can catch where I'm going with this you neutralize your relationship paradigm and it becomes about the experience and not the expectation you could have a positive experience with someone on the beach um, over lunch, a nice conversation. You may have a negative experience of being rejected or blown off, but ultimately these are experiences. These are experiences that are part of being a human being. I understand, I get it, that so many people, their roots are dry. They want those deep roots and those deep connections. And I have to tell you that if, if those connections and experiences were not as rare as they are. They're those jewels that everyone talks about. Oh my goodness, I met a fantastic, fabulous, true friend in my life. If they were not so rare, it would not be such a treasure. And they do exist. When those relationship experiences come in, it's because God brings them in. 
you can pray for those. It's a wonderful thing. God knows everything you need, want, and desire. But if you don't have those deep roots in your life, it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy the wonderful relational experiences that are available to you. Especially when you take out the weight of definition and conditions on those relationships. So this is just something for you to chew on. Uh, I hope it resonates. And thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.